Hey guys, welcome back. This is day eight of my 31 day challenge on Jordan the 13th Disciple. I apologize for being in the studio today. Time got away from me, but I committed to doing a video for you every day. So I'm trying to get this video in right before work. So please like and comment and subscribe to me to support what I'm trying to do uh, and my commitment to get you guys a video of content every single day. Today I want to talk to you about being set free for willing captivity. So I'll break that down a little bit more, but obviously being set free is the fact that we sinned, we needed a savior, Jesus came down, died on the cross for our sins and rose again three days later uh, so that we can now um, be set free to live in holiness in God's eyes. And so what a blessing that is that Jesus came down and did that. So now let's break it down a little bit more. Set free for willing captivity. So we were set free for a purpose. So willing captivity, let's break that down a little bit. You know, I'll, we, I could talk a lot about it, but I want to give maybe a few examples. For example, Paul in the Bible. Paul in the Bible, before he became a Christian, used to kill Christians. He used to persecute Christians. That was what he want. That's what he did. He persecuted Christians. He willingly persecuted Christians uh, because of whatever compelled him to do so. But when he came to Christ, he was phenomenal for the faith. In fact, he wrote most of the New Testament. He went on mission to reach people that were lost. He wrote letters to the churches to, you know, disciple them. Paul arguably is considered the best Christian of all time for what he did, but yet he came from a background of killing Christians in the first place. This is crazy when you have the concept of set free for will and captivity because Paul was set free and you know what Paul described himself as? He described himself as a slave for Christ, a slave for the cause of Christ. He literally devoted his entire life to making disciples of all nations. And that's just crazy from the background he came from. And you can look at missionaries nowadays or anything. They go into countries, risk their own lives, sacrifice the, the happier life in the United States or whatever it looks like to the opportunity to just always feel comfortable. They put themselves in uncomfortable situations for the cause of Christ. But why do they do that? Why did Paul do that? Why do people nowadays do that? It's because the joy and the peace of having God with you at all times overcomes the persecution that comes along with it. The joy and being in God's presence is what is sought after. And that's what they do. So they were set free for willing captivity. They were set free to be slaves for Christ. And they do so willingly. It's crazy the concept in the, the whole circle that comes. The last thing I want to say is Psalms 84 says, I'd rather spend one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I'm going to have a video coming up on that soon, but here's the thing. Would you ask yourself, would you really rather spend one day with Christ than a thousand doing whatever you want? For me, that's hard to say. I want to say yes, but if I'm being realistic, I'd probably say no. But I'm asking God for that intimacy today. Thank you guys for watching. Please give me a like and comment. Be on the lookout for the next 20 so days. Uh, I'm dropping a video every single day. Please support me. See you tomorrow.